What is it? The soldiers on the last expedition. They went crazy. Or something in here killed them. Something's come through the fence. Through the fence? <laughs> we have to go back. I can't go back. We can camp here tonight. We would never question it if it was all men. We're used to seeing expeditions of men, military, uh, you know, military expeditions of all males. It's great to just normalize it that it's all female and we're not gonna, you know, flash that as, as, as strange. It is and should be a selling point. You know, the three top grossing films of last year were all films with women at the center, but we see that in 2015 there was only one film that was a female ensemble, an all-female ensemble, and all those women were white. And then in 2016, no all-female ensembles made by studio movies, so studio studio films. Um, so no, I, I don't, I, I, no, I don't think it's normalized, unfortunately. I it is very encouraging that we have a few coming out this year, like yeah, Widows and Ocean's, Ocean's Eight. 8, and you know, we do have mm -hmm. um, people making it a, a conscious choice because it has to be a conscious choice because clearly we haven't been conscious before yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you know it, I, I I had an interview recently where I, I was talking about how uh, how much you know they were like so Latino representation matters so much to you why is that and I was like because growing up I never saw myself yeah. or what my or my sister or my sister I never saw us on screen yeah. as scientists as doctors as lawyers as positive uh, uh, role models so that the younger generation can feel like they're uh, that they're it's possible that they're capable that the you know are allowed to also follow those those journeys um, you're right inclusion right. doesn't happen on accident can you describe its form no start from the beginning <laughs>